First of all, sorry for my broken English. <coughs> I'm living in Norway for four years now, so the Norwegian language just occupied my mind. <laughs> uh, I'm Najat. I, I was a Palestinian refugee from Lebanon. Uh, I left 30 years of my life there in a Palestinian refugee camp called Rashidi. It's in South Lebanon. Uh, approximately 26,000 people living there on two kilometers and suffering very bad situation there. Something is with you? Yeah? Yeah. In 2011, we started the uh, organization, uh, Norwegian, Palestinian, and Lebanese uh, guys. We started an organization called Al Jaril. <coughs> Our aim is uh, to find a place for youth and the children to express themselves in this camp. In 2013, we got uh, contact with the Fantasia Forbund uh, group in Bergen, and they told us about LARP. For me, it was the stupid thing we're coming to do in the camp. The first thing come to my mind, it's Beit Beut, it's the Palestinian game we play. But how I should tell the people in the camp and we have the right to play in the time they're suffering all this bad situation there in the camp. So I took three weeks to find the participants to be interesting and to be in this game. And because it was the place that they played, the children in the camp. We didn't have playgrounds or a big places where they can play. Okay, we got the con connect with the Fantasia Forbunde, and they visited the camp, 10 nice people. But the first challenge it was how they can get into the camp, because we live in this closed area. We need permission from the Lebanese government to get the foreigners inside the camp. So they had to wait some hours outside the camp, but finally they got into the camp. And we had a workshop for 15, 15 uh, participants, and it was a very good workshop. They talked about LARP and uh, how they can develop these games. But it was a lot of challenges, one of them, the girls. It was very difficult for the girls to, be, to take part in this LARP because in our culture, it's something controlled the girls. Uh, they can't have this physical touch with the boys. Uh, it's not allowed for them to play. It's not allowed for them to go out. So when we start thinking about the LARP, the guys have to do that. It was a problem that we, we can't be outside. We have to find a close place where that place that it can, the girls be there and play. All that things, it was a problem. But finally, they started their own lab, and it was the wolf. And <laughs> in that wolf, it's supposed that Hussein, <laughs> he is my college, and he start this organization with us. He is the wolf, and it's supposed that he, it's not allowed to eat the children. But for Hussein, he understands the, the larb in his own way. For him as a larber, he has the whole right to change the whole larb and to make something uh, not logical. So we told him, it's not allowed for you to eat the children. The first thing he did, he just jumped into the game and he started to take the children. I will show you. Yeah, it's something very important. When in Arabic time, four, it's mean 4.35. And when we started the LARP, it's supposed to be in time, so we waited half an hour and no children show up. Then we have to went to the beach with one child. But on our way, the children just come from here and there and join us. <laughs> and we went to the beach and then 
suddenly 50 children with us on the beach and they wanted to play the wolf. And it was the wolf. And the first thing he did, he jumped into the lab and start took the children outside and eat them. <laughs> about how we benefit from this LARP. I think that I'm working as social worker from 2006 and it was almost impossible to uh, let the community understand uh, the women's rights or the girls' rights. With this LARP, we could change that because the boys and the girls start to play together and uh, they get each other as a friend. And when we uh, went in this summer camp, I traveled with five participants from the camp and I had with me two girls. It was their first time they traveling outside the camp, not just outside Lebanon. So we did a lot in this LARP and finally it was the book, Birth uh, uh, LARP in Arab World. So we did a lot of nice work and I think that we used this LARP to um, change something in this closed community. And I would like, if I stayed in Lebanon, I would like make more. But from four years, I had a lot of problem in Lebanon, so I traveled to Norway, and uh, I was a refugee for three years. But in the summer, I got the Norwegian citizenship. And again, I try to be larger again. So I want to say thank you for the organizer to give me this opportunity to be here again. Thank you.